here at Bruno's, I need some cheese and pasta. So this is day one, recording with only my Meta Ray-Ban glasses, just to compare and contrast. It will never be as good as my iPhone 15 Pro Max. It won't have the stabilization, blah, blah, blah. But it's pretty cool to have both hands free. So I watched a video by Once Upon a City, who went to Bobby Sue's with Liam and Henry. And they had uh, what's purported to be the best mac and cheese in the city. I do not doubt it. It looked amazing. I saw Liam eat barbecue. Uh, oh yeah, pulled pork mac and cheese looked delicious. Anyway, I, had I gone... Had I not been bringing my cat to the vet for shots, I might have gone there. But since I did not have time for that, I decided to make my own. One of the items on Bobby Sue's menu was a blue chicken mac and cheese. Since I am making barbecue wings for the hockey game tonight, and I did buy some blue cheese, which is in the freezer. That's a little tip. If you want to grate easier, put your cheese in the freezer. Uh, so I'm going to make a blue cheese barbecue chicken mac and cheese. Got to grate me some cheese. Armstrong marble. Not fancy. When I was a kid, that was fancy. That's for me to eat. So I'm going to chop up some gorgonzola and essentially making mac and cheese, you're using a bechamel or a Mornay sauce. Essentially, dear, it's a milk based sauce. I had in this fridge, which I forgot about, but it's still under expiry, um, which is great. I'm going to use this Alfredo pasta sauce, add cheese, add more cheese. Add a little bit of Asiago. Add a very high quality pasta. And make some mac and cheese. So, why do I call this high quality pasta? Well, it was very expensive compared to most pasta. Look at what you get in a box of Kraft Dinner. It's shiny. It's small. No ridges. Um, and the sauce doesn't really stick to it well. This stuff... It's great. Ridges, great color, rough. Um, it will really stick to the sauce. I bought Gorgonzola. I was going to buy some Stilton, but I thought this is a better melty cheese. I'm only going to use half because it's quite strong. Some people don't like blue cheese. I don't understand those people.
not forget to add salt. How you doing, baby? A little sleepy? Yeah, they say you're gonna be a little sleepy and your appetite's not gonna be all that great for a couple days. But you're looking good. Normally when I cook pasta, I like al dente, which means you get a little bit of a bite. And that is perfect. Maybe a little under for a bit of a bite. But for this recipe, I don't want the pasta absorbing the liquid when I assemble the mac and cheese. So I want this almost 90% cooked. All right, pasta is done. Turn that off, lift. Pour and back away so my glasses don't get fogged up. Grab some butter. Add butter to bowl. Add pasta to bowl. I'm adding the blue cheese, the gorgonzola, to the very hot pasta to allow the heat of the pasta to melt this cheese. So I added some black pepper, I'm adding some cayenne for a little bit of a bite. I'm going to add my Alfredo sauce. How much? Not yeah, about that much. Stir. Add my marble cheese. And add my mac and cheese here. I have a nice little mini one here that will freeze. Get all the goodness. We're going to put the last little dollop of Alfredo sauce. These are wings from Bruno's I got yesterday. They're huge. And they've been marinating in a Swiss chalet marinade. You find that in your grocer's aisle. Costs about a buck for a pack. They also make the delicious Swiss chalet sauce and a Swiss chalet gravy, which I don't know what you use that for. These, all this is gonna go in the oven together. Let's take a peek. Oh my, I'm gonna pull both of these out. Turn these over. This mac and cheese is essentially done. These wings have been in there for half an hour. Time to turn them over. These wings have been in for half an hour. Just turn them over. They smell great. Nice. All right, let's see what we've got. Oh, mac and cheese out, wings out. Toss with Sweet Baby Ray. And here is the Game 7 Stanley Cup dinner. 